Hello, welcome to another Earth Engine tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import Python scripts to Jupyter Notebooks using the GMAP Python package that I developed. In order to follow this tutorial, you need to install the GMAP Python package. Uh, if you have not done this before, you can watch my first tutorial on how to install the package. And then after that, you can um, come back. So first of all, you need to, after the installation, you can open uh, the terminal and uh, or the command prompt on Windows or, or Mac computers. So I'm using Linux. So once you open the uh, command prompt, for example, you can conda emv list to see what kind of um, uh, Python environment you already installed. So I already installed this one. So all I need to do is to activate conda activate GE. And once you have this uh, package in um, the environment activated, you can use conda list to see what kind of uh, packages uh, have been installed within this uh, Python environments. And make sure you have the latest one uh, because this new function I'm going to show you is only available in uh, GMAP Python uh, version 0.7.1. So make sure that you um, have this version. And then once we confirm that we have the latest version, um, we can um, start Jupyter Notebook. So all we need to do is just type Jupyter Notebook. Then it's open the Jupyter Notebook um, on your browser. And then all you need to do, um, once you um, download the repo, so you can download the repo using download, uh, as a zip file, or you can use a Git to clone the Git uh, repository to your computer. So I already have this one uh, on my computer. And um, by default, you open under your user directory. So then I'm going to this one. And then uh, examples notebooks 22 so this is the one we are going to use and let me maximize as you can see from here this tutorial uh, doesn't have uh, many lines of code that you need to write uh, essentially you only need one line of code then you then you can uh, um, start importing a lot of uh, scripts that um, you can use um, to do um, mapping so first let's execute this one so the first two lines basically import the OS engine library and the gmap Python package. And then all we need to do is just execute this one, gemap.ee search. And um, you just execute. So it might take a few seconds. Uh, usually it should be pretty quick. Okay, as you can see from here, now you will see these three tabs in here, very similar to um, our OS engine JavaScript code editor. So I'm going to show you here. Let me go back to the Earth Engine uh, code editor platform and code editor. You might need to log in. So once you log in, you will see these uh, three tabs in here. Let me uncheck this. So scripts, documents, assets. Uh, so these three actually are the same. Um, uh, for today, in this video, I'm going to introduce just the scripts tabs. And I will have another video to introduce the other two. So we focus on just this one. And as you can see from uh, the JavaScript code editor, uh, code editor, here we have five uh, categories, owners, um, writers, readers, examples, and archives. So um, you can put repository into any of those, but let me go back to this one in here. So after this one is executed, you can see from here, uh, we have five categories. So I already have this one, this one downloaded by default. So this one come from uh, the other repos repository that I developed. If you want, you can click this one. And here we show you the link. You can right click and then go to this GitHub repo. So this is the one um, that I recently um, developed by converting all the JavaScript uh, examples from the Google's Engine documentation. So if you go to the Google's Engine website, platforms and documentation, and on the left side in here, you will see a list of those um, all kind of a very useful documentation. And for each one in here, for example, image visualization, right? So each, exam each um, document here, we will have some JavaScript examples. And one, 
like two or three, right? So and essentially, I convert all the scripts to Python. So if you go back to my repo in here, if you scroll down, so here is the demo that I'm basically um, going through right now. But if you scroll down, you will see here the uh, the, the the table content. Uh, it's the same as the one you see from um, here, right? From machine learning image, image collection, and name freezer collection. So we come back to here, image. So these um, are the examples from the JavaScript editor, but it's like Python scripts. But I add something that's not um, some additional one that I think might be useful. Right, so if you scroll down, overall, uh, in total, there are almost 300 examples. Um, so uh, you're more than welcome to explore or uh, to download this one. So if you go back to here, uh, once you execute this line, uh, it's automatically downloaded to your computer. So if you want to find out where they are, it's actually under your uh, user directory. So I'm using Linux. Um, it's under my user directory, but um, Windows and Mac, um, you should be able to find that one under user directory. So this one, GE um, underscore repos. So this is where it's automatically created uh, five categories. And then I downloaded this repo into here. So all you need to do is go in, right? So you have a bunch of all the Python scripts. The idea is that uh, if you're using uh, uh, JavaScript, you need to copy and then paste this one to your code editor, right? So if you uh, if you come back to here, for example, the first one, right? copy and then paste and then hit run, right? Then you have the results. But the Python API does not have this uh, copy and paste. So that's why I developed this one, just to make things easier for you. Uh, you don't need to copy and paste. I already converted all the uh, scripts to Python. And then all we need to do is just come to here, see any example that they are interested in. Then you can, for example, I uh, just uh, expand this one. You can go through some of those. Uh, if you, for example, this try lane set cloud score. Once you click this one on the right panel, here we show you the scripts, right? You have two buttons. You also have a file pass here showing you where this file is coming from. You have the import button. You also have the save button. So you can make changes, right? If you if you don't want this line, you can, I can certainly make changes. I can delete this one, and then I can hit save, right? And then the content is saved. And then if I cut, click here again, you only see now this um, is gone. So this is simple text editor if you want uh, to use that, right? So next, let's show how you can import. So all you need to do is just hit import. Before you do that, pay attention in here, right? Nothing in here. But once I hit import, um, it will create a new cell um, beneath um, um, the browser in here. And then all you need to do, uh, just hit run. Then it will create a map and then display the result exactly um, very much similar to um, what you see from the JavaScript code editor. So this is one way you can quickly uh, go through and take a look at some examples. Similarly, you can try other examples uh, let's try maybe visualization. And uh, how about this one? Terrain visualization, right? So if you can scroll up, and similarly, if you want to make any changes, you can just, you're welcome to do that. And in here, I'm just going to use uh, import. Then again, it create the one immediately in here. The one that we uh, imported earlier is been, uh, below here. But so all we need to do is you click run and uh, you're able to see the map uh, quickly right so in here now you have the map and you can maximize if you want right so we have the entire um, srtm and uh, visualize that so once you add the data you can use the for example the uh, use inspector so i'm going to click inspector you will see this like block here because my internet is very slow so um, uh, it's not showing up yet once you have the inspector, then you can just hit click. And on the right in here, you will see all kinds of layers, right? So for this uh, script, it has um, six lay uh, five layers. So when you click, you're going to grab the uh, pixel values for each each one. So I can hit one, right? 
So very nice, much very similar to uh, what you see from here, the uh, JavaScript call editor, right? I can click, you have this, uh, same idea. And so this is an easy way that you can import a script. So my recommendation would be, if you are reading in here, uh, for example, if you are reading the Google's engine uh, JavaScript documentation, and if you're looking at some source code that you're interested in using this using Python. So all you need to do, find out where this one is located. For example, um, how about the image overview? Or maybe mathematical operations. How about this one? Okay. So, and then all you need to do is come back to my repo. And if you come to here, Right, mathematical operations. You know, you just click. So where is this one located? This one is under the image folder, uh, bank match. So once I know where it is, then you can come back to here. Just find out the folder image, right? Bank match, and this is exactly the one um, similar to here. So then you just import, and you have the source code. Hit one then you should be able to get the result okay so nicely it's in here and then you can use the inspector to inspect the values if you if you want okay so there's uh, 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 the easy way to import a script as you can see from here this one is just simply just like a browser uh, a file browser on your computer so um, there's another function that you can use if you want to develop a file browser on your computer. So there's a function called gmap.file. So once you type uh, uh, s certain characters and you hit a uh, tab on your computer, it will bring up the list of functions um, match the one you type. So if you see from here, it's just a simple function called file browser. And then you just uh, control enter. So you see here, now we have, oh, by the way, I forgot to mention the other one. In here, you can actually filter the scripts. So uh, for example, if you're interested in looking at link cover data, NLCD, I can hit NLCD and then you just type, I hit enter. Then you automatically filter those scripts that uh, the file name contained uh, NLCD. And so these two actually are the same. Uh, one in the data set folder, the other one in the visualization folder. So if you have this one, then you can import, right? You have the script. So this is the uh, national land cover database. Hit one. Then it should have this one uh, down below in here. Okay, so you have the NLCD um, data layer. You can also add a legend uh, in here if you want. So all you need to do, add a new uh, cell below and then type the map dot add uh, legend. Okay. You can pass in the parameter because the uh, uh, NLCD legend, uh, I already have a built in um, uh, legend, so you don't need to create one by yourself. All you need to do is just put your cursor inside the parentheses, then hit a uh, shift tab. And then from here, you should be able to see this one, built in uh, legend. So all you need to do, uh, figure out the name, built in, and then hit tab. So the name is called NLCD. And pay attention to here, there's no legend yet. So if I hit shift enter, and now you have it. Okay, so you have the legend that corresponds to each color. And then from here, you can hit the inspector. If you hit click, uh, I might need to use the full screen window. All right, so if you click this one in here, uh, 82, what's 82? Uh, cultivated crops. Okay, so you can click in here and then correspond to this one. Okay, so this is how you can filter the script. If you don't, if you don't need that, you can uh, delete and then hit enter again. It should by default show you all the scripts again. Okay, in clips. Um, let's go back to the one that I introduced earlier. So the file browser is very similar. Uh, if you can see from here, the file browser, uh, you can by default, you will use the the current folder, current directory. So so. 
this uh, where is it under my user repos examples uh, no no this one sorry so it's be here examples notebooks so because our notebook yeah our notebooks is using um, the this current folder so it only shows you in here but you are welcome to set to other folders for example any folder you like so i can also set to this folder copy and then you can shift tap to here to show okay so the first parameter is called uh in directory so i don't need to pass any just uh, double quotes and then you hit shift enter now it's automatically construct another file browser. So if you see from here, this is the another different directory. If you click, you will see this one, see this one, see this one, right? And um, this one is a file browser, so you don't have the import button uh, in here. Okay, so uh, let me see anything else. Okay, I think this all for this video. Um, I will see you in the next one. If you enjoy this video, please uh, consider hitting the like button. Uh, you can comment down below. And i um, looking forward to see you, uh, seeing you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.